Hi guys, Andy here, and welcome to a Twine game called Find Your Girlfriend. Um, I think the pre I I'm really horrible at remembering the premise, even right when I start the game. Uh, but it's supposed to be a spoopy queer horror twine. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? You're driving to pick up your girlfriend from the school where she works. There's a long Friday at the LGBTQ bookshop and you want to find her and get home as soon as possible. You're going to make nachos together and then maybe watch a movie. Park up outside the school. You lock the door and head up through the school gates to the double doors of the main block. Your girlfriend's classroom is in here. It's dark. That's probably just because most of the other staff have left already. The double doors have a keypad lock on them, but you know the code. Uh, type it in and turn the handle. Her classroom is just along here, down the shadowy corridors. You reach her classroom, and the door opens, but she isn't in there. The lights are off in there too. Huh, weird. Where is she? Your phone buzzes. A text from your girlfriend. It's Friday the 13th. Might be some spooky surprises in store. Come and find me. Haha, <laughs> at it. Where is she? Call her and text her. Let's uh, call her. The phone doesn't ring. Just beeps. Out of service. That's odd. Uh, you notice something on the floor just outside your girlfriend's classroom. It's upside down. What is that? Uh, turn it over. A Ouija board. Ouija board. It's wet and it's old. Kind of stained with ink spots and something reddish brown that might be teen. You look for the little wooden thing that points to each letter. It's nine several feet down the hall, as if it were thrown forcefully. When you go over, you can see that the carpet beneath it has a small ring of black, like a cinch mark. Is this a spooky surprise your girlfriend mentioned? It's nothing really, but in the dark and empty hallway, it is a little bit creepy. You laugh. Ha 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 ha. What are you doing? Getting freaked out by a stupid Ouija board. Where is your girlfriend anyway? Uh, our girlfriend is actually the devil, and I think uh, we should secure power in the underworld. Head back to the car. Maybe you missed each other in the corridors, and you'll find her on the way back out. Look around the classroom. Perhaps there's a clue to where she's got to uh, wander the corridors. We're going to look around the classroom. You go into the classroom and look around. There's nothing on the student's desk, but around the sides of the room are benches covered in stats of books, scientific equipment, and heavy-looking binders. Your girlfriend's jacket and briefcase aren't lying out. You try the door at the full-length cupboard in the corner, but it's locked. On your girlfriend's desk are lying two pens and a pencil, a biology textbook, and a sheet of work... A sheet... Sheaf? Of worksheets on photosynthesis. Look closer at the worksheets. They start at page two. Where's page one? Maybe she went to the computer suite to print it out. Uh, head toward the IT department. It's desk now. The unlit corridors and halls are full of shadows and unknown doorways. You think you remember the way to the computer suite? Hopefully. Keep walking. You walk on. There's no sound but your footsteps. In fact, it's so quiet you can hear your own breathing. Uh, keep looking. As you pass the window, there comes a huge crackle of thunder and the flash of nearby lightning. So bright it hurts your eyes and blinds you for a moment. It starts to rain immediately, torrentially, pounding at the pane so hard you step back from it by instinct. You blink and focus back on the darkened corridor you're in. You must be there. You must be... Bleh, you must be nearly there by now. <laughs> Maybe your girlfriend will appear any moment. A moment. Minute! Jesus Christ, can I not, can I not read today? Uh, you keep Your eyes keep scanning the hallways for her red hair or a flash of her green work jacket. Shiver and keep moving. At last you come to the door of the computer suite. This, at least, has a sign over it. Though it seems to be covered in drops of... Is that red paint? That's odd. Maybe it's Halloween decoration. Part of the Friday 13th spookiness your girlfriend mentioned. You hope she's inside. Uh, open the door. This is the IT suite, but she's not in here. The computer tower saw holds of blackness on the empty desk. Some are still on, though the monitors are off. Their little green and white lights flicker. They click and whir softly in the distance. In the silence. Sorry. You see something on the other side of the room. 
Is there a light under that door? Yes, there's a light. You move closer. Faint voices can be heard. Maybe somebody got talking to your girlfriend and she forgot the time. You can just make out laughter from beyond the door. If she's not in there, at least these people might know where your girlfriend has got to, right? Uh, let's knock on the door. Be polite. No response. Just open it. Your girlfriend's classroom. That's weird. How could that be? You're sure you didn't walk around in a circle. How can it be here? You look around the classroom. Maybe you're confused. Everything in the room looks the same as your classroom. The wall displays the stats of books. There's no sign of your girlfriend's jacket or her briefcase. Just one thing is odd. On one of the benches that line the wall, between two piles of paper, is a little box. You go over and look. It's about the size of a dictionary, and matte black all over. It's making some kind of noise, very quietly. You can't make out what the sound is. Uh, it's a vibrator. <laughs> We're gonna pick it up, though. It's surprisingly light, like it weighs nothing. Yet it, feel hard, yet it feels hard and slightly warm to the touch. There's a groove around the top like the edge of a lid. A speaker with a box on top, or a box with speakers inside. Uh, let's try and open it. You know everything. Suddenly. Everything. You know everything. Suddenly. Everything. You know there is, you know all there is to be known. You know the past, present, and future. You know wind and water and earth and fire. You know every cell, of be every you know every cell of being and every quark of matter and antimatter in the universe. You know, you know. Your body feels like it's rushing through every part of the universe at once. You see everything, feel everything, hear every thought of human and animal that ever was or will be. You laugh and laugh because you know the answers now, and you cry and cry because you know how small and how cold every little thing is. And yet you laugh again, for you see all the power in the universe, and you see all the sin, and you will punish it all. And so you know that nobody else is more fearful and powerful than you. You must be her, the great dark one, the devil herself, or else she is living in you. You blink. You cough and splutter for air. You drop the butts. You are you. You are under a tennis court shelter in the empty grounds of a school. You are a dog lover. You are an LGBTQ bookshop employee. Uh, you're bi. You're a poet. You're back. You know where your girlfriend is. What are you waiting for? Get there. She's there, lying on the ground. She's staring as if she was sleeping and is waking up slowly. That uh, move closer. Are you okay? She stares. Opens her eyes as you approach. Smiles. You see her more clearly. And you see the bees. They're crawling all over her. Uh, reach out to help her. You touch her. The bees crawl up your arm. Over your torso. They move so fast. You're enveloped in bees too. She pulls you in and kisses her. And feeling the bees press between your lips. Their silky wings and little furry bodies move against your mouth. You want it. It's beautiful. You love the bees. You love your girlfriend. You sink down in a bed into a bed of honeyed earth forever. Finn. Ah. Uh, okay. Not exactly spoopy. That like the way I was picturing. I was imagining something terrible. But this uh, was kind of interesting. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to play and see what the. I'm assuming there are other routes to play through. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe for more uh, shit like this. <laughs> uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.